Bonsoir, Montréal. Comment ça va? Yeah. Je m'appelle Grégoire. Je suis American. Yeah. You may have heard about the little uh, codependent relationship America's having with Iraq right now. Yeah. There was something I never understood about the whole conflict from the very beginning. Something that confused me. How did our oil get underneath their sand? <laughs> Clearly, it's our oil. We have it earmarked for freedom. The sand monkeys were wasting it on food, for goodness sakes. What a coincidence. And how fortunate for North Korea. that they possess nothing we desire. Because if our SUVs ran on spicy cabbage, <laughs> we would be all over them like white on rice. We had a little trouble getting other countries on board in this excursion. France, for instance. I put this down to W's diplomatic style. Because W is not familiar with what the French call Nuance. In other words, diplomacy is not his fort. <laughs> Either with us or against us. Whoa, 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 whoa. Easy, Tex. <laughs> French people don't respond to that. They need a little coaxing. After all, they invented foreplay. Bill Clinton on La Otra Hand. <laughs> you remember Bill Clinton, the last elected American president? <laughs> Would have been able to get the French on board toot sweet. Because William Jefferson Clinton, perhaps more than any other chief executive in the history of the United States, is deeply in touch with what goes on in the psyche of the French male. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> you could see him negotiating with Jacques Chirac. Hey, Jack. <laughs> Regardez vous the derriere on Les Jeunes Filles. <laughs> Ooh la la, that is Trey Show derriere, Jack. You know, Jack, after the war comes the loving. <laughs> Who's with me? I'm talking Buku to Hoochie, Jack. <laughs> Clinton was a dog, but W thinks Fellatio's the Italian ambassador. <laughs> and now W's in big trouble. And wouldn't you know it would be over his faulty intelligence? We attack Iraq for a very specific reason. They have weapons of mass destruction. How cleverly they've hidden them. <laughs> Almost as if they were never there at all. <laughs> they have weapons of mass destruction. Apparently our weapons are weapons of growth and nurturing. Jimmy Carter, who I understand was president briefly in the 70s, <laughs> won the Nobel Peace Prize for his work as a diplomat. W actually said, the problem with the French is they don't even have a word for entrepreneur. <laughs> the French are so stupid. They don't have a word for anything. Je ne sais quoi, je de vivre, esprit de corps, omelette, champagne, they're morons. <laughs> they have a word for W, though. Imbecile, I believe it is. <laughs> Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Bonsoir. And this was her argument. She goes, what if one of those illegal immigrants that we see in the neighborhood tries to break into the house and rape me? I'm like, what do your fantasies have to do with this? Never hear your fat friend say something like, no, I really shouldn't. <laughs> you walk with your fat friend, middle of the night, you wanna stop for some pizza? Hell yeah. 